morning guys welcome back welcome back to another video and in today's video we're possibly selling the e91 m3 to actually one of you guys i'm actually going to be delivering this car about an hour and a half from my house and hopefully he's a legit person but long story short um yeah we're delivering this car and uh, we're gonna be taking the i3 and the m3 absolutely love this car but as you guys know we're building a masterpiece of our own so uh there's no need for two bennies i'm gonna go ahead and just let this thing warm up my boy Arlon's gonna be driving this car i'm gonna try to get some rollers and stuff like that for you guys i'm gonna be taking the i3 but uh yeah guys i mean for the price that we're selling it for it honestly hurts but at the current economy we got to do what we got to do to make sure that we have funds for this build and the audi r8 Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> we need to sell a car, bro. Good morning. Guys, I'm trying to maximize the potential of this i3. As you guys can see, I have about 64 miles in range um, in terms of like the electric motor, and I have about 66 miles to get there. I'm probably gonna hit up a charging station when we get down there, but <laughs> the only way I'm able to actually keep 64 is because I actually have the heater off, everything off, um, and I'm freezing. Like, <laughs> it's so cold. If I go ahead and turn up the heater, you guys are gonna see 64 drop to 54. Uh, no, that ain't, that, that's not gonna work, man. So screw comfortability, we gotta get there. <laughs> A little bit of a documentary update. Uh, we lost the M3 in this clouds of uh, smog. I literally cannot see anything. I, smog, smog, why can't I, is this smog? What is going on? I lost the word for it. Clouds? Oh my God. Fog. <laughs> why did it take me so long to find the word fog, fog? There you go. So yeah, we lost our lawn, but I'm just keeping a steady pace to make sure I get the best fuel economy possible to get there. I don't know why I care so much about the fuel economy, but I'm just trying to save every dollar I can get until I get the R8. And then once we get the R8, we're gonna pretty much break even because that's a V10 and uh, that's gonna be drinking gas. Guys, we're literally only one digit away from the lucky number. I've actually never had a car hit all the same numbers for the mileage. Come on. On any minute now and just like that guys you're out 111,111 miles that's crazy all right guys we got the money let's go ahead straight to our bank to make sure nothing happens with this and guys we're officially back at my place about a week later and i'm happy to say as soon as we finished up with that meet about a week ago was selling the car i took the money went straight to the bank deposited that bank and i saw the funds in my bank and i was like wow i have never had that much money in my entire life so god bless i am eternally grateful and uh the, the, the fact that we made it to this point especially in an economy like this I'm very, very, very happy and I'm very excited for the next step in my life. Um, obviously, when I saw all that money hit the bank account, I really, we went straight to in and out I wanted to celebrate. in and out to me is like that celebration place. I don't have to go to some bougie place. I honestly don't like bougie food. Like, I, I get, even I feel like if I ever become super rich in life, I don't want to have all these fancy stuff. Like, for me, if I had a burger and cheese, I mean, you know, some fries, you know, everything's gravy in the Navy. So that's just me personally. But yeah, basically, I got the funds in the account and I'm finally, for the first time since I started my YouTube channel, which I think was 2014. Let me just double check on that. If you guys look right over here in my bio, January 1st of 2014 is when I started my YouTube channel. And this is the description I put and I haven't changed since that day. Obviously, if you guys view the description, love you guys every week, one new video basically. And uh, I mean, we, we try to upload a little more than that. And I said, one day I'll own an Audi R8. Right. This is literally one of the key things for me when starting a YouTube channel. I was like, you know what? I see all these people making their dreams come true. And I was like, you know what? I'm working a nine to five for me. I just, I just don't see myself of, you know becoming 40 50 years old and then finally buying that car and then being broke again after buying it so so i'm officially happy to say that we got the audi r8 it's in the backyard let's go ahead show you guys no i'm kidding we didn't get the car yet i'm not gonna lie it, it, it's been insane i've actually bidded on a couple audi r8s in the past couple of weeks and uh long story short the ones i bid on was literally borderline my budget like i could have afforded it i could have honestly bid it and won it and got it delivered so we met the goal so i said this year we're gonna get an out here by the end of this year i could have done it i could have done it but listen up guys let me explain something so after bidding on a gen 2 we've actually bid on a gen 1 v8 manual twin turbo i bid it on a gen 1 v10 
Um, uh, didn't have to be a Gaiden Mania. I just wanted an LCI, so I got the you know the dual clutch transmission um, with the V10 first gen because it's more of a Lambo engine. And then I found a Gen 2, uh, like pretty much Quattro, every spec I would want. Uh, from an insurance as well, and every single one of those primarily went for my budget, and I could have won it, and I could have got it delivered, but this is where things would have changed. So I don't know if you guys ever, when I got the BMW i8, that was pretty much when I'm looking back at my analytics, since I got the BMW i8, it was one of those moments where I was like, man, you made it, dude, you made it, you're driving a crazy car, and uh, you know, like, you, you accomplished something big, and that's amazing, but at the end of the day, when I got the i8, it was more of like, like that feeling of feeling like you made it was fake because like you really didn't make it because first off the car is financed it was not paid off cash second off um like how did you make it when you're struggling to make money like that was my biggest fear when, when i had the i8 my my biggest struggle was honestly making more income and the issue was is because first off that car was taking i think like 500 dollars a month um i at the time uh, for because I was super young when I got it so like I think the 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 pretty much the the Insurance was like three to four hundred dollars a month on that and then I spent like eleven hundred dollar monthly payments on that So again like fifteen hundred dollars to own that car um, On top of the fact that you know with YouTube you got to spend money to make money So if you have no money to spend anymore and just all going towards that car You just always broke and it was honestly no fun driving in a you know a beautiful car uh, to McDonald's because that's the only place I could take it. <laughs> so long story short, I'm making an executive decision. Now before I make this decision, no, it's not really a final decision, but the reason I'm making this decision is because I feel like with the current economy, it's just smarter. I don't know if you guys are noticing the car market with the whole Carvana situation, everything, but basically cars are becoming so cheap to the point to where like I could pick up five or six 335s today for like all five or six of them together. I can get them all delivered to my house for $10,000. Like that's how cheap cars are really getting right now. Now. And on top of the fact the whole Carvana has filed for bankruptcy and all their fleet of cars, I think they have millions of cars, they're gonna go flood the used car market so they can pay off their debts. It's gonna be insane. Like literally the used car market is gonna be so diluted in the next couple of months. And uh, long story short, I just feel like buying a used Audi R8 like a 2008, 2009, or even a 2012, 2014, 2015, all those used ones, those are definitely gonna be flooded into the market. People aren't really gonna be looking at those cars. I mean, shockingly, even electric cars, and I'm finding Tesla Model 3s, and when I actually put a pre-order, which I was gonna surprise you guys with, uh, when I put a pre-order, I think the total payment for a brand new one was like $57,000 like for the whole car. And then uh, now they're sending me emails because I canceled on them. And they're sending me emails saying, hey, if you could please continue with your transaction, uh, we'll have it ready tomorrow instead of waiting the six, seven months I originally did. And uh, basically you get $5,000 off. And I was like, nope, nope. Because if you guys look at used ones right now, you can get a used 20, like 17 Model 3 for like 30 grand right now, which is like, Wow, half the price. Everything is everything. Like you would think, oh, not electric. No, everything is going down significantly. And uh, I just think like after all these years working so, so, so hard for all the money that I acquired, um, it just be stupid at this current economy and this current time, which I mean, I did not expect, no one really expected uh, to go dump all that money on a total supercar on top of the fact that they're gonna be constantly depreciating, the parts are still expensive, and uh, I would just spend the rest of the year struggling to make videos because I'm just trying to figure out ways to make money just to get parts. Um, even if I get a Gen 1, I'll be able to pretty much buy it and fix it, but it'd be very hard to sell in an economy like this um, just because no one wants to spend that much money on a salvage title car if I needed to sell it and if I was like, you know, and I always, you gotta always think ahead of the game. Like, you know, end of the time, if things go south with YouTube because of this car, uh, because again, when I got the i8, things really did not go according to plan. I was really hoping that's gonna be like elevating the channel a lot more, uh, but that just really went sideways. And I'm really afraid when I dump all my capital, selling all my cars to get this, obviously not the E91 M3, that's my baby, but selling everything is gonna, it's gonna it basically, it, it, it put me in a situation where if this R8 content doesn't work out, I am screwed. Like, severely screwed, especially in this economy, especially considering it's gonna be depreciating like crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm just thinking of more a financial sense. You guys can say what you need to say, nor you're making excuses, yada, yada, yada. I genuinely feel like I'm not making an excuse and I'm making the best decision for myself. And that's basically my new goals for 2023. Now I know my goal for 2022 was to get an Audi R8 by the end of this year. And technically I can buy an Audi R8. That was the goal, to have the funds to be able to buy this dream car of mine. And uh, unfortunately, I just don't think it's this wise decision. I don't wanna look rich. I, I wanna eventually be wealthy enough to the point to where I'm not ever struggling to like choose between whether I can go on vacation for a holiday or not. Like I wanna be able to enjoy vacations, I wanna be able to enjoy everything I do. Everything I ever do, I'm like, 
ah, oh, man, I mean, this is, this is gonna hurt me in a week or two. So like, I always think like that. So long story short, the resolution to all of this. So we got the funds that we needed. So I feel like the 2022 goal was still completed because we got the funds, we grinded, we made it happen. And honestly, in an economy like this, while having that funds, I feel like I'm in a very good position for my next move. And I think my next move is gonna actually be starting a business. For the first time ever, I'm actually very excited to say that for 2023, I do plan on starting a business that's gonna revolve around cars um, that I feel like we could film great content in, but also have like a bigger income than just YouTube. So that would allow us to actually make better content. And my focus won't just be trying to make YouTube revenue. My focus will be trying to make, you know, business money. And if obviously if that money, as long as it's generated without my YouTube channel, those are two independent incomes and I won't always be stressed out. So I feel like investing all my money into a business and then hopefully in a year or two, I'll be able to honestly get like a Gen 2 from a dealership or possibly even something better if the business takes off. I just feel like that's just something that's smarter for me. Now in terms of the business, I don't want to jinx anything. I don't want to say exactly what it is, but I honestly genuinely feel that it is kind of like economical proof. It is COVID proof. It is I, I feel like it, it's something that people need regardless. Um, so like it, it should work for me. And I definitely see like with, with considering that we're not gonna be taking loans out for this business, it's gonna be the right move, like it, absolutely. And I feel like, again, I'll be able to bring better content to you guys because the things we're gonna be doing at the business, it's definitely gonna be entertaining. It's definitely gonna revolve around the whole saving BMW. It's definitely gonna revolve around like, you know, us building crazy and cool cars. So um, yeah, I definitely think this is the right move. I hope you guys are okay with this decision and, uh, I really want to bring you guys an Audi R8. Like, believe it or not, like I was going to all my friends, but even, you know you have real friends. When I went to my boy Erlan, I went to my, my brother, I went to my, uh, my boy Jonathan, and uh, you know, I even, even my boy Nick, uh, Nick Coding, the guy that does all the coding on my cars and stuff like that. I went to all of them, I basically told them like, hey, very excited to get this Audi R8, and each one of them was like, nor. Like, have you been seeing the economy? And I'm like, yes, but I've made a promise and you know, I've made a lot of promises in the past. I didn't go through with them and I wanna make sure I'm a man of my word. But if being a man of my word is gonna make me broke, I just don't see how that's the right decision. Especially again, no one anticipated this like economical collapse pretty much. So yeah, I think, I think I'm making the right decision. I hope it doesn't like, upset a lot of you guys. I'm trying to do what's best for me and result to where I can make the best content possible. I love YouTube so much. And my, my dream is to always just invest so much money into it and just make it the best thing ever and hire somebody that can film my videos and have people in my videos. And I feel like with the business, I'll actually have people around me and always film videos together. So I just feel like ultimately, just taking that extra big step, that big risk in life is gonna allow me to do better with YouTube. And um, yeah, that's my goal. And I hope you guys support that decision. Um, and uh, I'm sorry that this video took so long to get out. Honestly, I was having a good time. Uh, we, we celebrated the holidays with my friends, uh, my family, a bunch of stuff, and we just had a good time. And um, I just wanted to take a step off of YouTube and just look for our rates at the moment. Also look at the business stuff and see what just lined up with my my future and stuff like that. So again, now I know for those of you guys who support me for me, I truly appreciate you guys. If you guys please leave a like in this video, that would mean the absolute world. So I know you guys are there. And just know that this business idea that I have in mind is gonna allow me to also meet you guys in person because like it, it's gonna be a place, it's gonna be an actual location and uh, I'll be able to meet you guys and be able to do stuff with you guys. I can actually show you guys my builds and I just feel like, I'm just very excited for this next step in my life and that is the goal for 2023. So I'm telling you guys straight up, I mean, a business is a business. Like it's not ever a wrong time to start it as long as the right one um, so I definitely feel like this is gonna happen no matter what and I'm thinking early 2023 like early early 2023 at least the first quarter I'm hoping at least um, so I'll keep you all posted but without further ado guys see so yeah, guys that is gonna have to conclude the video again I hope I hope I don't let you guys down. I mean I know the people that are say bro you made a word you made a word you hyped up the R8 so much it really genuinely hurts me to like not do it. Like imagine delaying like gratification. Like I really, really, really want this R8. It's been my dream. I can literally go buy it. But the thing is, it's like, is it smart to look rich but be broke? Like, I mean, an Audi R8, it's supercar status. It makes you look like you're part of like something big, but they say, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, my, my channel, the views are dropping. No one relaxes to watch the R8 content. You know, it just, it, there's nothing to really be proud about if you're struggling to own that car. I feel like when you buy that car, it should be like, it should be no problem, you know? It should be paid off cash, you should, you should have no issues um, financially to be able to afford a car at that magnitude. I just don't feel like it's financially responsible. So I definitely hopefully hope that my delaying this gratification and delaying this, um, you know, this instant gratification of getting an Audi R8 today is gonna pay off in a year or two 
possibly when we start this business and just start grinding with it. And uh, I, yeah, I just, so yeah, just wish me luck guys on my journey. And um, it's, I mean, guys, early 2023, I'll be showing you guys exactly what I mean because this is my project I'm working on right now. Like I don't really have another build in mind. We're gonna work on that E91 M3, make it absolutely amazing, build it to be something crazy. That's gonna be the, car, the main car on the channel right now. And then while I'm working on the back end, I'm just getting this business started so I can show you guys and meet you guys and just do everything. I think it's gonna be very exciting. And again, I don't wanna spoil it, anything like that. So that's gonna have to conclude this video. I love y'all so much. Make sure to smash the like button, but without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.